Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead Cod Plus series. As I said, unfortunately our streak has reset, but not truly. We're on like a seven streak now, I think. We get Tate Mass Memory a lot. Let's go. Yeah, Lazarus sounds good to me. Um, Lazarus. Lazarus. Where are you, Lazarus? Okay, we haven't actually done much as Lazarus. Maybe we'll go for the beast this time. But we're technically on a seven streak right now. It's just that it reset because that crashed last time. I think I fixed that now. It hurts is actually... Do you know what? It hurts is actually really, really good for us here. Here. Um, because we're going to be hurting ourselves a hell of a lot um, to get those revives. And honestly, sack room play this time around? Do you know what? Okay, let's let's do the floor and see. Because honestly, sack room play, as long as I can go a decent amount of time without losing too much red health here, could be. It could be very good. This this guy's got some real sacky sacky going on. So, um, oh god, oh god. Why do they chase my mini Isaacs? Okay, this has already gone terribly because I've already lost a full heart. Yeah, it's because those dumb, stupid things chase my mini Isaacs. They're supposed to circle the uh, enemies in the room, and it's like, no, no, your mini Isaacs. That would be better. No, no, that's terrible. Don't do that. That's awful. So we, we might not be able to do it now because I've lost a heart, which is really bad. I mean, if I get like a heart from these poops, I might be able to regain my composure here and um, give it a go. But yeah, for the question of the day today, what is the funniest thing you've seen in real life? What is the funniest thing you've witnessed happening? I don't mean as in like going to a comedy show or something like that or a film. I mean like as in something that happened that just made you uncontrollably laugh. Mine's a really weird one. I won't say, I won't say it's really weird, but mine's a weird one and I think it's weirdest because I seemingly was the only one that witnessed it. Back in school, um, I don't know how many people do gym class or PE as we used to call it, um, but we had uh, like a f we had two different um, like sports halls, one for the girls, one for the boys, uh, and then we had a few different things outside, like a uh, rugby thing, one for like a little car course for tennis a little bit of a football field to be fair my school had a lot for uh, for sports really like i never really thought about it until right now but we actually had a lot going on we had a swimming pool as well at school um which is kind of crazy and that's secondary school not like college or anything like that that's kind of crazy um but yeah um w one of the times we were in just like the gym hall and we were doing i don't remember exactly what it was but essentially it was um oh my god Oh, that's really good. Okay, 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 okay. Let's let's start this up. Um, essentially, it was um, kind of like a thing where there was like everyone got in separate rows. The room was like divided into four, and people were in four different rows. Um, we'll grab that as well. Do that. Uh, yeah, everyone was like separate into like four different rows, and each row had to do like different sports activities. Like, I think one of them was like weaving in between cones or something another one was like running I, I i don't remember the exact things we were doing but anyways um and there's this there's this kid in my in one of my classes who i i knew fairly well he, he wasn't exactly a friend but he wasn't not a friend either um and he was he was kind of one of the the, the major nerds of the school like i was in the nerdy group and he was like nerd supreme um, ooh, a zealot heart as well. Uh, let's just have a look, see. Okay, angel chance increase. Okay. Okay. Give me a hot minute here. How many, how many times have we pressed the button so far? We didn't get the angel teleport. I was hoping for a soul heart there. And I think we do that again. There you go. That gives, that, that kills us. Gives us our stat boost. And we grab that. We do that, which is a look down, unfortunately. That's a tears up, though. We leave the Zealot Heart for now. We come back for that. Which, I think last episode, I forgot to come back for the Zealot Heart. So this time, I'll try and remember. I'm sure that really annoys all of you, and I apologize. But anyways, yeah. And he, he was he was in this, too. And, of course, him being one of the, the nerdiest kids in school, not exactly the most athletic. And that's fine, because I wasn't athletic either. It has nothing really to do with it, but... Um, so we were kind of struggling and we were on the same row and a few of my other friends were in this row as well and I don't know why but like I think he was getting like excited or something I, I really I'm not quite sure as to what really caused this but all of a sudden he just th this this netty kid he just like did the loudest scream like like but it was like a screech it was like a banshee's cry 
um, that you've ever heard. And, like, seeming, like, even though it wasn't, it doesn't even sound that funny to, uh, describing it, I found it hilarious. I don't know why, but it was just so weird and so unnecessary and so strange and so, like, out of the blue. And seemingly no one else noticed. But, like, I really don't understand how, because it, like, echoed. It echoed through the entire room. And I, I just, I don't know how no one else noticed. 75% chance to reroll familiar crowns when getting hit. Interesting. I think I'll just go for this for now. Um, Yeah, and like seemingly no one else heard it. And I was like, this dude just like screamed. <laughs> And I'm just, I was, I was like in hysterics because at the time I just found it absolutely hilarious and like no one else seemed to even notice and I was like, what the hell's going on? Then there is a, there is another moment which honestly I have to say in retrospect really isn't that funny and it's going to make me seem like a bit of a horrible person, but I'm going to say it anyways because at the time I found it funny, but looking back on it, not really that funny and it was kind of bad, but essentially... Um, th I was, I was friends with a lot, I think I spoke about this a little bit before on the, on the channel, on, on the Isaac series, but I was friends with a lot of different groups. I didn't really have a lot of friends, as in, like, close friends, but I was, like, friends with a lot of people. Like, I, I was, like, no one dis, it wasn't like I was disliked sort of thing. Um, but I had kind of a few, like, like, one or two close friends in most of the groups social groups. I wouldn't say all of them, definitely not. Like, it sounds like I'm being really braggy. I didn't actually have that many friends. I was quite, quite the nerd. But anyways, um, I was like, obviously my main friend group was kind of the nerdy group, but I also had a group of friends that I walked to school with every day. Uh, well, I said group, two friends that I walked to school with every day. And both of those were like, kind of like some of the more athletic people in the school. I don't really know how it ended up happening that I was like good friends with them really, because Normally in school, people like that kind of stick to their own. Uh, but I, um, one, one, one of those people, um, he was like legitimately like the strongest kid in school. He was like six foot two or three um, and he was like absolutely jacked. Um, and he, uh, yeah, obviously like pretty much everyone in the school knew that. So like a few people had started fights with him before over like, I don't know, I think he played rugby at school and stuff, and so, yeah, he kind of beat the shit out of a few people. But, I mean, it was good for me because it meant that I never really got bullied because people knew he was my friend, um, which was nice. Uh, but, I mean, to be fair, I didn't really give a shit about bullying anyways. I just kind of brush it off, but even still, I, did, I, I didn't really get bullied that much regardless. I, I, I kind of did because I was part of the Nerdy group, but, yeah. Um, my God, we have so many different heart types overlaying here. We have a rotten heart, a zealot heart, and a golden heart all laying on top of each other. It's just weird. Um, probably won't kill myself this floor, I don't think. I don't desperately need the stats, and my health isn't particularly great. Um, and I want to keep my zealot heart. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, I was friends with this guy, and in PE one day, in, in, uh, in gym class, um, we were playing dodgeball, which I fucking loved. I was really good at dodgeball for some reason. Like... Of all the different sports that we played, I wouldn't even really call... Is dodgeball a sport? It kind of is. There's a lot of movement, but it's not a traditional sport. But anyways, um, of all the sports that we played at school, that was by far like one of my favourites. I was, for some reason, really good at it. I think I was just very good at catching. Um, so I was able to get a lot of people back in by catching the ball, which obviously was, was really good, and people really liked me for that. Um, at least when playing dodgeball, so I got picked quite often. Not that we played it that often, though. I wish we played it more. We didn't really play it that much. Every other spot I got left in the dust, but that one, that one I, I kind of wanted rosary, but Lusty Blood's pretty good. Um, I think we'll go for our shop here as well, see what we got going on here. I think we take Soul Heart, I think we take Scratch Card, which gave us a single penny back. Damn, okay, that's fine. I probably should have taken the Fanny Pack as well, to be honest. In fact... Did we have a nickel-eyed keeper? We did not. Hmm. I'm, I, I probably should have gone for fanny pack there, considering we're going to be getting ourselves hit a decent amount. In fact, I'm going to just try and get that now. But yeah, so uh, one of the times in dodgeball, uh, one of the other friends that, um, that, I, that I walked home with, obviously his friend as well, was... Um, on the side bench, just sit like just sitting waiting because I think he was out or something, and he'd just he'd just been hit, so he'd just been taken out of the game, and he came to sit down, 
And um, as he came to sit down, a ball rolled to my other friend and he threw it at him. Um, and it hit, like he turned as he threw it and it hit him in the side of the face. And he was very angry because it, it hit him pretty hard. I think he meant to throw it at his back, but it hit him like right across the side of the face. But the catch is, he didn't realize that it was our other friend that threw the ball. There was this little kid, this like new, come on game, can you not be a dick? Um, there was this new kid called Adari who had just joined the school and he was like, he was like small. Um, yeah, I'll take that. He was like small. He was like probably like five foot, may maybe a little over five foot. Me bear in mind this other guy was like six two. Um, so he was, he was a lot smaller. Um, oh, I, I, I was just like, oh yeah, money. And then I just realized I paid all my money into that chest and got a trinket out of it that I didn't really need, so... Should have thought about that before picking up that chest. Um, I didn't really think there'd be money in the boss room, to be honest, unless we got a pageant boy. Uh, but yeah, th this little kid, he had just joined our school and he barely spoke English. Uh, I'm going to leave Devil Deal for now. I'd rather take HP if I can get it. Ooh, let's uh, let's quickly just grab this and drop it in here. Um, he barely spoke English. Like, I, I honestly, I don't really get why he came to our school because, like, I can't imagine it was very useful. Like, Obviously, he'd have learned some English in passing, but I don't think he was getting English lessons while he was there. It's so like, I can imagine that a lot of the classes, considering he joined in like year 9 or 10, went straight over his head. By the way, did we, oh, I, was, I was just going to say, did we get the exact same item again from our Lemmageton Wisp? No, we didn't. Last time we got Magneto, this time we got Stranger Tractor. They're just both magnets. <laughs> um... Yeah, and yeah, so so he just joined our school and like I said, barely knew English, tiny little dude. Um, and my friend, bear in mind, one of the toughest guys in the school, had just um, just turned around after being hit directly in the face by a dodgeball. Obviously slightly disorientated and not really understanding who threw it. Didn't realise my friend was there snickering to himself. Instead saw this Adari kid, thought it was him. And um, in in a bout of rage, just picked him up, turned him upside down, and dropped him on his head. And I was like, what in the fuck? Like, it was, like, funny until you realize that this kid just got demolished. Like, it, it was, it looked painful. So it was, like, it was, like, three seconds of, like, people laughing. Then all of a sudden, oh, shit, this kid might die. <laughs> He's just been dropped on his head. So, yeah, that was that was pretty bad. Uh, but at the time, we were like, oh, my God, what the hell just happened? I mean, even now, I'm like, oh, my God, what the hell just happened? It was kind of crazy. Um, something you don't see every day. Um, <laughs> as you can imagine, you got quite a bit of trouble from that. Uh, oh, my my, my uh, PE lessons were very, very weird. We, we had um, two different teachers uh, that, that mainly taught us. One of them was kind of like the inside gym person. Other one was outside. One of them was like an ex rugby player, so he did outside, and the other guy did inside. By the way, great item here. Um, and um, he was notorious for being easily agitated. He was another, like, he was a big dude. I think he, I don't know if he was a professional rugby player or not, but he was also a rugby player before he, te before he taught. I think he had like a leg injury or something, but yeah, he was pretty huge. Um, and he was, yeah, he was uh, someone that did not take lightly to criticism. Um, and obviously being a teacher in a secondary school, um, kids make fun of their teachers all the time and say things that they shouldn't all the time. Uh, and I don't know the context of how this actually happened, but I do remember that one time this this teacher just came into the changing room while, en while everyone was getting changed for PE and just said, Does anyone else want to call me a liar or a cheat? And everyone was like, what in the shit? We have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> Does two tarot cloths do anything for us? Probably not. Um, 80 damage, uh, full mapping for the floor, reverses curses. I'll just take that, why not? Wait, what? Full mapping for the floor, it didn't... I'm confused because I don't have full mapping right now. Anyways, we can we can continue onwards. Yeah, I don't I don't have full mapping right now, so I'm not really sure why that didn't work. Strange. Maybe tarot cloth messed with it. Maybe double tarot cloth messed with it. I don't really know. Um. 
But yeah, so everyone was just like, what the hell just happened? This guy just comes in, storms in, is, does anyone else want to call me a liar or, or a cheat? And like, what the hell? What's just happened? We have no context or reason for this. I think it turns out um, one of the kids that was just like known for being a bit of a dickhead was had like been caught making fun of him like behind his back. Oh, have I not got a key for this? Is there a key in the shop? I just went to the shop. God damn it. There better be a key in there now that I'm making my way back. I should also try and find my secret room, which I should already know where it is. If the mapping had worked. Oh, there's it. Boom, bow. Grab both of these. Oh. In fact, let's uh, drop a bomb here, see if we get anything out of these two. Or see if we can miss them both. Nice. Okay. Item room ahoy. Let's go. Yeah. I don't know. It's just... P was just really weird for us, like, because I was part of, like, the nerdy group, I was actually, I think I've also mentioned this on the channel before, apologies if, if I have, um, but I think, um, I was, like, we, we had, like, rank, sort of, um, gradings that were, that, like, started off at, like, 3, C, B, A, and then 4, C, B, A, and then through to, like, 6 or 7, and, uh, everyone in the class was a 5, C, and I was a 4, A. Like, literally, I was the only one in the entire class. Now, I, I was like, do you know what? I'm personally proud of this. <laughs> I'm terrible at physical education. Hell yes. I don't care at all, at all about that. <laughs> but basically, it's because whenever we did outdoor sports, there was like, I don't know, you weren't really, like, you were, the, the teacher would make sure you did it. But for some reason, or at least, I say for some reason, it's because they didn't really care about us or like us. But basically, me and my friends, the nerdy group, they didn't give a shit about us, so... Ooh, I will take this. Is this, uh... I always forget how this... How this worked. I would love to take telepathy dummies, but this is pretty good. Depending on the current room's item pool. Cool. Um... We don't have a battery anywhere on this floor. Uh, yeah, and... We, he, they just basically let us skip class, essentially. We'd just go somewhere on the field or, like, to the little basketball court and just mess around for an hour or two, depending on how long the class was. It was great. I loved it. <laughs> they didn't make us do any, like, rugby or, or cr cricket or baseball or anything like that. We just could do what the hell we wanted. It was awesome. While everyone else had to, like, spend time learning how to play cricket. I'm like, I don't care how to play cricket. Ooh, very good trinket here. I, th I honestly think, like, as much as we should be killing ourselves as much as possible, we don't really need to anymore. Like, we've, we've really set ourselves up nicely with just one death. It's a shame that the uh, thingy room didn't actually pan out how I was hoping. But why do we have triple shot right now? What the? Excuse me? Now we have an immortal has- What? I'm really confused. Oh, it's my lemma getting wisp. I see, I see. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, we have so many hearts going on right now. Immortal Heart, Golden Heart, Lemmageddon Heart, and Rotten Heart. Boop, boop, boop. I'm not going to go to that, actually. I want, to, I want a key for my shop. Boop, 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 boop. I'm kind of scared to use the blood donation machine because I don't want to uh, accidentally get rid of all the amazing hearts that I've got. I don't think it would, but still. I'm going to play it safe. But yeah, so we just got to kind of, like, bunk off every day. It was great. And then as well, um, we had uh, RE, religious education, um, once a week. And uh, that, was a, that was a lesson that I despised because it was, for one, taught terribly, um, like, truly. And for two, it was just, it was just dull. We never really learned about anything interesting about religion. And it wasn't even, it wasn't even as if it was just like, oh, Christianity great sort of thing or anything like that. Um, but I don't know, it was just a pointless class, really. It felt so pointless. Um, and I actually managed to get myself out of that class, uh, and PE, because I, like, this sounds really, this sounds weird, and I don't know how, yeah, how this is going to come across, but I kind of got in good with the dinner ladies, <laughs> which is a strange sentence. Me and a few friends, and, and basically we became, also all champions now, we became, like, the, um... We need to find our secret room now. The people that they'd come to to, like, discuss new menu ideas and, like, like actually 
ask us for what to put on the new menus and stuff. And they would pull us out of class. They'd pull us specifically out of PE and uh, religious education to go and do this. It was awesome. Like, I don't know if they were doing that intentionally, because I don't think they knew our schedules. Secret room or secret room, where might you be? But yeah, I think it was just like luck of the draw for us that it was like, hey, you can get out of uh, these two really, really boring lessons if you just come and talk about food for an hour. And they'd also give us like free desserts while we were talking about it too. It was great. And then like, because of that, the, the school started serving curry. I was like, hell yeah. Hell yeah, curry is the best. Secret room, where are you? I am unsure. Probably here, right? Probably here. No? Colour me perplexed. Yeah, a bit confused on where it is now. Um... Okay, I've got two choices here. Either here... There we go, there we go. Off that. Oh, both of those are terrible. I mean, actually, that could be decent. One up, it really, really doesn't matter. That, that's that was unfortunate. That that was not really worth losing our space brighton for. But the key thing can be good, I guess. Like that's kind of useful. Bop, bop, bop. Bit of extra health there as well. Okay, I'll keep it. I'll, I'll keep it with me for now. It's not great. It's probably one of the worst items you can get from the secret room, but it'll do for now. It'll do for now. What was there anything else in the shop we wanted? There's the conf the confessional spawns upon clearing the boss. I mean, I'll take it. Why not? I don't think I'll need it, but it's there if we do. I guess. I don't know, like, as well, our school had a, had a very weird way of doing things. Um, I don't know, honestly, how it works in America, to be honest, and you can you can enlighten me if you, uh, if you want, but I'm not really sure how the education system sort of works, the say, like, in America compared to ours. Like, we do, so we do primary school for, so we do, we do preschool for, like, two years, and we do primary school for, like, six years. Then we do secondary school for, like, like, four, no, five, five years? Yeah, five years of secondary school. And then we do college for two years, and then you do university for three years. It, it, that's, like, the standard. You don't have to do all of those. You don't have to go to college or university, but that's kind of standard. Um, and, um, I can't remember what my point was now. Oh, that was it. Okay, yeah. During during secondary school, we had to get our GCSEs. Um, I don't even. I think, I'm guessing they're still called GCSEs in America as well. I actually don't know 100%. I don't think we need that. Um, yeah, I actually don't know 100% if they're if they're the same. But anyways, um, our school compared to all the others in the UK was trying something new. Um, and we got to do our GCSEs one year early, which essentially meant that not only did we um, like get an extra year of picking some extra subjects. We also got two extra GCSEs on top of most other people that we knew, which meant that getting into college was a hell of a lot easier. Obviously, it's a, it was like an experimental system that was going to be implemented in other places. Um, I don't like this. Uh, that was going to be implemented in other places. Uh, so, it, it, like, for, for, for like the first two years, we kind of had an unfair advantage, but it kind of balanced out later on. Um, but yeah, uh, because of that, like, ooh, I like a little greed. The way that we did things, like I said, because of that, is we, we essentially picked two subjects every year. I can pop that open. We picked two subjects every year, and then on a Tuesday and a Thursday, we did a full day of each of those subjects. So for my first year, I picked film and cooking, so uh, or media and cooking, I think it was. And um, so on Tuesday, I had an entire day of just media, and on uh, Thursday, I had an entire day of just cooking. Most places, what they did is they'd pick two or uh, i think they'd pick three options or, or two or three options but that would be like your options for the full three years um 
That we, we already have that. Uh, that that would be our options for the full time for the full time you had um, your GCSEs. So year nine, ten, and eleven. No, year ten and eleven. Sorry. So for, so for the two for the two years you had your GCSEs, you'd pick those three subjects, and the, those three subjects would span those two years. Um, whereas for us, we had six subjects, so double amount of subjects. And instead of instead of the uh, subjects spanning multiple years. We had one year of two subjects and another year of two subjects and another year of two. And instead of having the lessons spread out through the week, we had them all in one chunk, which, like I said, was very weird. It was not how it was normally done, but I really liked it because, like, a full day of doing, like, media studies or cooking was great. Also, this guy is bleeding very heavily. Backstabber, good now? What the hell? Let's guy kill himself. Ah, the bleed right now. Damn you. Okay, keep going. Yeah, um, so it, it, the way that we did things was very strange compared to most schools, but it, like, I don't know, it, for me, it was so much better. Some people, like, would say it's, it, it sounds horrible doing a full day of one subject, but it's a subject you've got to pick, so as long as it's a subject you actually genuinely did like, then what was going on with that guy? Did that guy have, like, an aura around him that was dealing damage to me? Um, yeah, as long as you picked a subject you liked, it just meant a full day of a subject you liked. Like, I had, um, my first year, like I said, was media and cooking. My second year was IT and geography, which I have to say the geography wasn't very good, but IT was good. Um, and then my third year was, I did extra study, which was like extra English and maths, because I was terrible at English. For some reason, they made me do maths as well, but, um, I, it was only really the English I needed. I was fine with maths, um... Thank you. Um, oh, I lost my lemon again. Heart, damn. Let's be careful, these guys. Oh, we got our beds. I didn't even notice until now. Um, yeah. And then what else did I do? Oh, and I did triple science as well. And that year we actually had to do single, double, and triple science all at once, which was kind of crazy. But yeah, so some people be like, "Oh my god, a full day of science? That sounds terrible." But my science classes were ace. I had. Dub, uh, single science, double science, and triple science that year, all with the same um, the same teacher, which basically meant that throughout my week I had, I think it was a total of like 15 lessons of science throughout the week, and I think I think nine of them were in a row. Six was the full day, and then there was um, two of another one, and one of another one the following day. So technically nine in a row, which was kind of crazy. But yeah, so most people would hate that, but I really liked my lesson. I had basically all of my friends were in that class. Oh, come on now. I didn't realize he was going to put creep there. All of my friends were in that class, which was really nice. This might be secret room as well, actually. There it is. Um, And also the teacher was really good. And he was, I, I've, I've spoken about him multiple times at this point. He was just the one that had come in, like, basically a bit drunk. Um... He come in a bit drunk basically every day, uh, but it would it kind of worked out because it just it just made this class like a really chilled out vibe, and he was still a very competent teacher regardless. He was still able to uh, it wasn't it wasn't just like he threw a book in front of us and was like there you go learn from that. He actually did teach us and did a very good job of it. Um, but like <laughs> that teacher was so funny. But he I I might I might have mentioned something about this in previous episodes. It's really hard to with this many episodes. It's really hard to keep track of what I have and haven't spoken about in terms of, like, life stories. But I think at the same time, it's okay to somewhat repeat myself because it's going to be a little different. There's going to be some new details from the last time. And also, there's people out there that haven't heard this at all. So, for them people, it's a new story. So, I think it's okay. Or at least I hope it's okay. You have to let me know. If I really annoy you with my stories, then do let me know because I'll stop. Um, but, in this class, he, he'd give everyone nicknames uh, and... That that uh, the guy that I uh, spoke about before, the dude that screeched in the PE class, he was called Ben, and there was a few Bens in the class, and he was known as Little Ben. <laughs> um, there was, I think there was Tall Ben, Regular Ben, and Little Ben, because there was three different Bens in the class. Uh, there was also one guy that had uh, like really white hair, and he didn't really get a nickname, but the someone, it wasn't the teacher, someone put a poster on the wall. Um, of his class of an albino gorilla. Um, okay, let's take that and try and get a space brighten that works with it. It was a, it was like a printout picture of an albino gorilla that said like wanted dead or alive. Um, yeah, I'll take this. Yeah, it said like wanted dead or alive. Um, 
and he just left it up there for the entire like <laughs> the entire time and just when he was asking a question he'd just like point to this picture and be like yep come on come on now <laughs> it's your turn uh, so funny definitely uh sometimes verged on bullying but <laughs> i think most people were okay with it i think people that were maybe a little more precious might not have found it so funny um or if, if it was something that was a little more close to home. But I think for the most part, it was just kind of a light jest. And no one really minded. Okay, grab that and that. So many mini Isaacs with me today. Ooh, Eternal Mum. It's been a while since we've seen Eternal Mum. That was a really bad bomb. I forget what Eternal Mum does. Is it just that she spawns monstros? It, I know that she definitely spawns monstros, but I can't remember if she does anything else on top of that. That was a good bomb. I hit the foot and the segment there. There's the monster. But it's only a baby monster though, so it dies pretty fast. Another good bomb there. Definitely not got anything, like, really intriguing on this run so far. Like, it's a good run, but there's nothing crazy going on. Oh, I forgot my full card. I'm just going to spawn it in. Don't judge me. I was meant to pick it up. There is other goals that we could do, but I was really hoping to do the beast. Have we had an angel deal yet? No? Right? We've not had an angel deal so far, have we? Have we? I don't think so. I've never failed this. I don't know why, I don't know how, but I've never failed it. Yeah, nice. So a one-off guppy now, which is kind of intriguing. Um, spawn 5.100.1. Is that it? Oh, nope, nope, that's not it. It's spawn 300.1. There you go. My mistake. The fool. The fool. Make sure we don't accidentally pick that up now. Um, are we good to go? I think we're good to go. We look good to go. We have so many lives at this point. Holy hell. Scratcher, nice. Damn it. A failed scratcher. I forget what I was talking about now. We did once have... Um, a bit of an odd science lesson in that same class where it start like the roof started like we were on the bottom floor and there was one floor above us the roof started trickling water at one point and we were kind of like okay that's not normal and there's not like a a, a, a leak in the roof because there's a there's a floor above us so we we're like hmm what's going on here so our teacher immediately went upstairs and was like hey what's leaking to to bear witness to um a tap that had been completely ripped off and was just spewing. I'm going to take the D-pad. Oh, yeah, D-pad. Split second reaction. I quite like this thing. Um, yeah, to a, a, a tap that had been, like, completely ripped off of its, uh, off of the sink. Um, and I got the, uh, I got the story from, uh, from a friend of how that happened. Basically, uh, this friend was actually the one that caused it. <laughs> he, um... I don't know why, but him and a few of the other people in the class were, like, seeing who was strongest. And I think they were arm wrestling. And this this was another kid. For some reason, I knew some people that were surprisingly strong, despite being a little weakling myself. But he was definitely one of the stronger ones out of that group. And um, after the arm wrestles, decided, hey, I'm going to test my strength by punching this tap. Uh, I'm just going to punch this tap. And he, he, he damn well punched the tap. And um, it bent and then like the pressure built and it just kind of exploded and it's just a fountain of water that was pouring all over which was then leaking down into our classroom so class was cancelled that day <laughs> just for a bit at least while we got that fixed so that was kind of funny we were just like what the hell's going on it's raining indoors did also have there uh, once how do I wait a minute Okay, no, this is this makes sense. Um, I did also once have um, 
to have a class in university cancelled, which isn't something that I've had often, because, um, the moon, let's do the moon, because, uh, <laughs> we kind of walked in, everyone got sat down, the lecture started, and it was going, it was going fine, it'd been going about 10 minutes, but then you kind of looked around the room and noticed quite a lot of concerned faces, and I wasn't, it, it took me a, it took me probably longer than most people to catch on to what had happened but yeah there was a lot of concerned faces a lot of people kind of worried and so yeah eventually someone pointed out to the lecturer that one of the ceiling fans there was like three ceiling fans in this room it was like a big lecture hall the middle one had um had come loose and fallen down and was hanging by just the wire by like and it was so it was hanging down quite a few feet below where it was meant to be from just the wire um oh i wasn't expecting this i don't think any of these are worth it i'll be honest um yeah it's hanging by just the wire but it wasn't like it was just a little bit it, it, it was like a few feet and the fan was still on <laughs> like it's not like this had happened and the fan had turned off no the fan was very very much still functioning and as you can imagine because it's a ceiling fan it is the blades are rotating but because the the fan isn't securely fixed to anything the um the fan was actually kind of oscillating like the actual blades while the flan while the flan while the fan was spinning the actual the entire thing itself was also moving like kind of rotating around and so it looked like any minute it was going to fly off and obviously it was rotating at a reasonably fast speed because it is a fan it kind of needs to to keep people cool um it was m moving at a reasonably high speed which meant that if it flew off it would land on someone's head and likely do a good amount of damage now it was made of plastic so it wouldn't be anything crazy but it would still be a significant amount of pain and probably cause an injury that you would not not want to face uh, so yeah, we had to we had to be evacuated out of the room because the lecturer um, immediately he was like, like quite literally word for word he was like, holy fuck, we gotta go. <laughs> immediately just ushered us all out of the room. Hello again. Um, yeah, <laughs> that was quite funny. I mean, it it wasn't funny for the people that were sat directly below it, and that that's the worst thing as well. Like it, like because of the way that lecture halls work, the seats at the back are obviously a lot higher up. Um, and uh, the people at the back were the people that obviously noticed it first, but the people that were sat nearer to the middle or at the front that were directly in the line of fire hadn't noticed at all until the lecture men me lecturer mentioned it. So everyone at the top was kind of worried, but obviously not for their own safety. But then once it was pointed out and the people below were like, oh shit, god damn it. I, I feel like a lot of the stories I've, I've told today have had very big oh shit moments. <laughs> or just a lot of oh shits. Oh god, I wasn't prepared. At least it gave us a soul heart. And more mini Isaacs. God damn my babies. There's so many of them. They are plentiful, my children. They are plentiful. Okay. There you go. My first successful damage up from this thing. I've not really been paying attention to it, to be honest. Now I've got it. Good, 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 good. I think that guy was an eternal champion, but he was also a champion, which is something that I didn't know was possible, which is kind of interesting. Right, we got this to unlock our uh, thingy. Honestly, the bleed is going to be so good on these sort of enemies that jump around all the time. Got my damage up going. Lovely. Got that. I love the fact that you can fill this with hearts. That's such a good little detail. It'd be a great item even if you couldn't, but being able to just adds a lot to it. We're not going to need any more keys, are we? So, I guess we, uh, use this. I think the crack D20, we rolled one of those into a chest then. <laughs> Item. Yay! It worked. It worked. Little mushrooms. I am taking a lot of damage at the moment. A lot more than I should be, I'll say. But it'll be fine. My mini Isaacs will somehow save me. Which I think is kind of impossible, but I'm going to say that it's possible. Like, they're dying pretty quick, but they're getting the job done. They're doing a good bit of damage. Okay, 
we're almost there. Let this light inside you. Cleanse your soul. Does anyone know anyone like that? That's like an absolute religious nut. I, I don't know any directly, but I do know I do know a few like that my mum knows. But, but like she showed me some of their Facebook posts, which are just crazy, like anti-abortion or whatever. But like, even that's that's a flawed take. But like they're flawed beyond flawed on top of that. Some some of the things they say are just crazy, and like the, the logic that they like persuade themselves is correct is just mental sometimes. People can have their own opinion, but if you're against abortion, you're wrong. <laughs> Goddamn. F Facebook is, is definitely a, a cesspool that I've, uh, that I've, uh, that I've been glad to be free of for a long time. To be fair, I was, I've never been big into social media. I went through a small phase when I was like 13, 14 of using Twitter. But apart from that, I don't really do social media. And I've realized that as a content creator, I really should use social media more often. One minute, I need to pause. Okay, let's continue forward. Uh, yeah, what, what was I saying? Oh yeah, like as a content creator, I probably should use social media more. Like it is a good tool to try and get more viewership and let people know what's going on and stuff. But I don't know, I'm just really not big into social media. Discord is as far as I'll go, really. Um, and as far as I have gone. But I gotta say, like, I am... Um, I used to use Facebook when it first came out, sort of thing, like when it was first sort of popular, but I really haven't in a long time, and yeah, I think it's just like become kind of a cesspool. <laughs> I don't really bother with it anymore, because it's, yeah, it's not, it's just, it's just too full of, like, stupid misinformation and people telling you crap about their life that you just don't care about. Like, it's so rare that I read something on Facebook and I'm like, ooh. I really need to know that. Most of the time, it's like, I'm having chicken for dinner. It's like, good for you, I guess. Well done. But, <laughs> did I ask? <laughs> it's like, if I wanted to know, I would have asked you. But, saying that, I am asking people in the comments what they had for dinner. Because <laughs> you people I genuinely actually care about, so. Because he can drop crack keys. I just want to see what his item payouts are. I know that he dropped trinkets last time. So, trinkets, crack keys, and items, apparently. We've got the sad onion. Interesting. Sad onions. Bit of a weird one to get from that guy, but there you go. Holy hell. Health has become not great. Yeah, health has become not so great here. I really should utilize one of these crack keys just to see if we can get anything nice. Wait, what? Wasn't there a crack key? What the heck? Whoa, one of the crack keys turned into a bomb. Make sure I don't drop it because it might get re-rolled. I didn't realize it could re-roll things that already existed. Do not drop this crack key. That would be my bien very bad. So health-wise, not doing so hot, but we do have a lot of revives. A golden penny. Ooh, a hero font. Ah, oh, it was supposed to give us three soul hearts and it didn't because it's bloody cracked. God damn it. Crack D20 giveth, crack D20 taketh away. Ooh, we can level up little Steven here. And nine lives, apparently. Oh, we get him all the way gone. I don't even know what leveled up nine lives would even do. Wait, is there any other level ups? No, there isn't. Still, leveled up little Steven is decent. I can't, I can't imagine how level up nine lives is a bad thing. Take in a child. Spawn. 6.14. Enigma hearts have been unlocked. Thank you. Get yourself mum's wig. Great one to grab. Great one to grab. And we will pause again. One sec. Okay, it's time to fight. Let's go. It is time to fight. I should have really brought a card down with me, but... Actually, no, I couldn't have, could I? Okay. So, we do have Big Daddy himself, the tainted version of him. Not tainted, you know what I meant. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, yeah. Not good, but we have given ourselves a lot of fire rate, so that's a bonus. In fact, a lot of fire rate. And we have um, the ability to do some extra damage via backstab once he enters his next phase. 
Okay, this this is kind of laggy. How did that bomb move so much? That attack's really scary. Oh god, that attack's crazy. How on earth am I meant to? Oh my lord! This is nutty. Am I meant to be able to dodge this? This is crazy. Oh god. We're gonna die. We died. I don't know, will it revive? It revived us outside the room. You bastard. That's actually evil. I got him onto the second phase. But at least this time he's not eternal. The eternal version of Dogma is absolutely savage. I've got to say, it's so savage. I don't mind getting hit once or twice because it just gives us some fire rate. Getting hit any more than that is a bit of a risk though. Okay. I like the way it's just constant backstab sound effects. Have you ever backstabbed your own TV set? There you go. Okay, so backstabbing when he's in the in the uh, thingy blade thing. This guy's eternal. I did not realize that you could... That's, that's just weird. You can be eternal in one phase and not in the other. I suppose technically they could count as separate enemies, but I don't know why. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know what lives I've got left either. I really should have detailed respawns installed so that I can tell. I think I'm absolutely burned here, you know. Okay, no, it respawned me in the fight. I don't know why, but it did. I don't know what respawn I've got there that did that. I'm not liking this. Please stop. I'm just not doing much damage at all. I need to get bombs in there. I mean, my fire rate's insane, but it doesn't really help. It's actually a good trinket to get, really. I should have picked that up earlier. Okay. Okay. Tricky times. Now with nine lives, we should be fine. We should be fine. Damage-wise, I think things are going to be a little slow going. We can try and use the D-pad every now and again to get stuff going on. This guy with backstabs... Should be pretty good. Lost my uh, thingy already. Oh my god. Really ought to stop getting hit here. Backstab that fella. I don't think... I think he is backstabbed. I think he just doesn't have the visual. Okay. Damage wise, we're looking good. Fire rate wise, we're also looking good. Yeah, there you go, some damage. Yeah. Keep it up, keep it up. There you go, more D pad damage. Gotta keep that going, get rid of the flies here to show some decent damage. Whoa, what the hell happened there? I think that was a little Steven's upgraded form doing that, I think. I can't imagine what else it would be, to be honest. More damage there, not that we needed it at that time around. Okay. Oh, I can spawn some mini Isaacs, but I doubt they're going to help us. Oh, wait, no, they can fly. Okay, no, they're actually, they're actually kind of decent. Okay, getting out, out of the way of these bombs is not so hard. Oh, you... That attack always gets me. Always comes in at the worst possible time for me. Oh, my lord. I am absolutely screwing the pooch here. 
Don't worry. It'll be fine, somehow. I love the way those dolls just spawn, like, <laughs> in the middle of nothing. Okay, one more of these dudes. That's a bit more damage. Oh, I bombed myself. Black Hat. What's... We're still on revives that are giving us our full HP back. Are these just Lazarus revives that are going on here? I don't know what's going on, I'll be honest. I'm getting revives where I get to keep my HP, and I'm just perplexed as to why. I know that Lazarus' revive does that in a way, but I don't know why it keeps happening. Okay. He's gotten gone. Okay, he's not eternal. Good. We'll get some bomb damage going early. Okay. That bomb was terrible. I don't know what happened with that one. Let's finish this out. Really good run overall, though. Surprising considering the items haven't been insane, but it's gone really well, though. Get more damage there. Sadly, all out of bombs now. Oh, just about dodged that. That was close. We should be entering into his third phase really soon, actually. I don't think he'll be turned around for very long. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's going to flip right back around, like, instantly. After this. Yeah, thought so. I say after the first Alec might, but didn't even get there. Okay. We're on the home stretch. Very, very good. Very, very nice. Very, very good. And we got a new heart type unlocked, which I'm always happy for. I can't remember what the Enigma Hearts do now, but either way, nice to have them unlocked again. I'm liking re-unlocking things with this modded save file. I hope you guys are too. It's just a little more interesting. There you go. We finished this one out. Very nice little win here. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.